Regular combustion analysis and adjustment of your fire to boiler air fuel ratios can help make sure it's running at peak efficiency. In terms of cost savings, every 1% increase in boiler savings translates to a 1% reduction in your annual cost of boiler fuel. While these savings don't appear as significant as in some other areas, it's important to remember that the annual cost savings often are greater than the cost of a combustion analysis. More importantly, periodic combustion analysis will ensure that the boiler continues to operate within the desired operating conditions. Before you begin, make sure you or the staff member conducting the test is qualified. If not, hire a qualified boiler technician. Combustion testing must be conducted when the boiler is fully operational, so it's very important to follow all recommended safety procedures. A combustion analyzer is needed to conduct the test, which can be purchased or rented. You can also borrow it from Focus on Energy's tool lending library. To prepare for the test, select and install a flue gas sample point, if not already done. The flue gas sample point is a test hole drilled into the boiler ducting. Many boilers already have a sample point. However, make sure it's in the right spot. The sample point must be as close to the boiler breaching as possible and upstream from any draft diverters or openings that allow room air to mix with the flue gases in the stack. It should also be installed downstream from the economizer or recuperator if equipped. However, the sample point should be before any draft controls. To begin the test, first take high fire measurements of excess air, carbon dioxide, and flue temperature. At high fire, insert the combustion analyzer probe into the boiler flue. Be sure to follow the equipment manufacturer's instructions for this step. Record this information on a boiler maintenance log sheet. For boilers with large flues, a number of samples should be taken. Next, adjust the boiler air fuel ratio controls. While the boiler is still operating at high fire, adjust mechanical air fuel linkages so that they maintain the desired air fuel ratio. If your boiler is equipped with solid state excess air controls, adjust the controls to the desired level of excess air. While the level of excess oxygen will vary based on outdoor air conditions, a typical oxygen level of 1.5% with a corresponding carbon dioxide level of 10% is a good target for natural gas fired boilers. These readings correspond to an excess air quantity of approximately 10%. On fuel oil fired boilers utilizing number two fuel, typical excess oxygen levels should be maintained at approximately 2% with a corresponding carbon dioxide level of 11.5%. After the air fuel adjustments have been made, record the color and condition of the boiler flame as well as the stack temperature on the log sheet. Repeat this process for medium and low fire operation. Wait several minutes between each test to allow the boiler to stabilize. Seal the test hole to prevent any leaking of combustion gases into the boiler room. The last step in the boiler combustion test wraps up the remaining tasks in the testing process. First, Finish recording your findings on the boiler maintenance log and file the log sheet with other boiler records. Next, clean and store the combustion analyzer. Place an order for equipment test modules that need to be replaced before the next round of testing. For more information on boiler combustion analysis, please refer to the manual accompanying this CD or the Federal Energy Management Program's O&M Best Practices Guidelines.